Hey there, boys and girls. I'm Captain Tyler, and welcome to Faith Flight School. Our first day here. Are you excited? I know I am. Here at Faith Flight School, we learn about the Word of God and how to be doers of it. As we're doers of God's Word, our faith can take flight, and we can receive all the promises that God has for us. Do you have your manual? Here at Faith Flight School, our manual is the Bible. It has all the instructions that we need to live a life of faith. If you don't have it, you better go get it, because you're going to need it for all the classes here. So, before we get started with our lesson today, let's go over to the hangar for praise and worship. You ready? really really well all right this one has some motion so i want you guys to follow along with us you say yes ma'am yes it's gonna be fun here we go encourage one another and build each other up build each other up Yeah. 
Way better to build each other up, right? Yes. Yes. Way better to encourage each other. Oh, thank you, Lord. All right. We got some more emotions. Are you guys ready for them? Are you ready for them? All right. Give your kids.
leading us. You are so good to us. Everybody just close your eyes. Raise a hand. Let's take time to love on the Lord. Focus on Him. He is so good to us. He is so precious. this lesson started. Are you ready? Me too. We're going to be starting some new classes today. Over the next several weeks, we're going to be taking an aviation ground training program on the basics of faith. This will be where we learn the ABCs of faith. Now, I've got our handbook right here, and in this handbook, it tells us all the classes that we're going to be taking today. Let's look and see what we've got. Looks like we'll get to see the simulator, 
and see how to take our faith to flight. That sounds like a lot of fun. Looks like we also have a fun snack and a science demonstration with Dr. No. But uh, before we do that, let's head over to Information Station and check in with Miss Francis. Remember last time? She didn't do so good at following instructions. Let's see if she's being a doer of what she learned about being diligent. Well, well, well! This is looking really good! Thanks! I uh, stayed late after class last week just to make sure I got it exactly how you instructed. Well, you've done a great job. I see the pins are exactly where I asked. And the tape dispenser. Perfect. And the clock. Great job. Thank you. Um, I've got everybody's information right in here, printed out, ready to go. The schedules I asked for? Yes. This is them? Yes. Exceptional job, Francis. Great Thank job. You, Tom. Yes, wonderful. You know, we should start our day off. What's first on the agenda? Oh, looks like Miss Ashley will be starting us off with offering. Miss Ashley, well, let's head upstairs. Sounds great. Guys, I'm so excited for our first day at FFA. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be so fun. So fun. It's offering time again, guys. You ready? We're learning to take off in faith to receive everything that God has for us. So let's jump into our manual here and get some direction. This scripture is over in 2 Corinthians. It's 2 Corinthians 9, 8. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. Let's read that in the New Living Translation too. It says, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. So what does that word sufficiency mean that we heard in there? Sufficient is when you have enough of something. So say for instance, all of a sudden you had a little bit of a grumbling in your tummy and you were a little bit hungry and you went over and you found an apple to eat and you ate that apple and now you're not really hungry anymore. Well, that was sufficient for your hunger. You had an apple and it was sufficient for what you needed at that time. Or say for instance, you saw something in the store that cost $5 and you wanted to buy it. Well, if you had $5 right here and you were ready to purchase it, you can take your $5 and that's a sufficient amount to buy the thing that you were wanting to purchase. But you know what? Our scripture didn't just say that we would have a sufficient amount. What did it say at the end? It said that we may have an abundance for every good work, right? All sufficiency in all things so that we would have an abundance for every good work. That means way more than we need, enough to share with others. So again, if you were in that situation where you needed the $5, you wouldn't just have $5, you would have a whole lot of extra to give and share with your friends. Maybe a friend was with you and you ended up saying, you know what, I wanna buy you a gift too. I wanna buy you something from the store. You could sew $5 or $10, something to them and that seed will be multiplied, right? Or if you were hungry and you ate your apple, that was sufficient, but more than enough is a great big, basket of extra. You know what? I don't think that I could eat all of this fruit if I tried at one time. Could you? No. Maybe you could eat a lot more than me. But this right here is an abundance. This is way more than we need to share with our friends. And so we can sow to our friends. All right, are you guys excited about it? I am too. God's will for us is to have more than enough everything that we need and extra to give to other people. Oh, oh, hello there. Um, my name is Lucy and, and I'm here to attend classes at Faith Flight School. Oh, perfect. Well, hello, Lucy. Uh, let me see if I can find your schedule. Oh, oh, thank you. Let's see here. Oh, oh, here it is. Okay. Um, it looks like you'll be attending the Aviation Ground Training Program on the Basics of Faith. Wow, that sounds so fun! 
Oh yes, it will be. So if you want to just go right upstairs, you should be able to find your classroom. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Hi kids, it's confession time. Repeat after me. I am. I am. The righteousness. The righteousness. Of God. Of God. In Christ. In right. Christ. Good job. Now the next one. I'm quick. Yeah. I'm sharp. I'm, I'm bright. bright. Good looking. looking. Very rich. And a major blessing. All right kids, get your doers out. I'm a doer, I'm a doer, I'm a doer of the Word of God. Okay, kids, get your Bibles out. Okay, ready? Repeat after me. This is my Bible. This, this is, is my, my Bible. Bible. It is the Word of God. It, it is, is the, the Word of God. God. I am what God says I am. I am what God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I can do what God says I can do. And I can be what God says I can be. And I can be what God says I can be. Good job. Good job, kids. In this series, which will be over the next several weeks, each of you will be attending ground school here at Faith Flight School. Ground school is a place where pilots would go to learn the basics of flying a plane. But here at Faith Flight School, you'll be learning the basics of faith so that each of you can take off in your faith just like a plane takes off and receive everything God has for you. When we're born again, we are given access to all the promises God has for us. His Word, which is our flight manual, is filled with promises for those who accept Jesus and allow Him to be Lord of their life. For us to receive and enjoy those promises, we must have faith. Just like we'd use an airplane to get from one place to another, faith is the vehicle that allows us to get to the promises of God. It's important as a born-again believer to understand what faith is. I'm going to send you over to Instructor McLeod. You'll join Shoop and Ollie and learn more about what faith is. Well, hello, class. Hello there, Shoop. And who's this? Oh, I'm Ollie. I heard we need faith to receive all God has for us, so I'm here to learn what this faith thing is. Ah, uh, yes, and you can. It's for everyone. God is no respecter of persons. Now, shall we get started? Yes! yes. I am Eli McLeod, your flight instructor. Let's begin. We are here today to learn about faith. So let's take out your flight manuals, which is your Bible, and turn to Hebrews 11. Now Hebrews 11, 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith means that we can be fully persuaded, or you could say convinced, that God's word is true and God can and will perform it. The way we become fully persuaded or convinced is by hearing the word of God. That means we have to fill ourselves up with the word, just like a plane needs to fill up with fuel to take off. For us to fill up with the word of God, we must hear the word of God and see what God says and then be doers of it. And to take flight, we must accelerate and thrust ourselves to be persuaded that what God says is true. What he says he will do, he will do. We become fully persuaded when we spend time meditating on the word of God. So I want each of you to spend a little time today and begin meditating on Hebrews 11.1. 1. Then later, we will look more closely at what it means to be fully persuaded, and I'll get you started on the simulator. Okay, thanks! We'll see you later, Instructor McLeod. Yep, those numbers look correct. Yes. Oh, hello, boys and girls. I'm just uh, finishing uh, working on one of these simulators that we are going to be using. Instructor McLeod will be using this one later today. Uh, let me see. Yep, make that adjustment there. Perfect. This is just one of the simulators that we use here at Faith Flight School. We have many, and each one of them is a tool that helps you develop your faith. 
Now what they do is, the simulators throw situations at you that are contrary to the word of God, and what we do is we help you learn what to do to stay in faith, to receive the promises of God. It is exciting. All righty. I think that's the last of it. Wonderful. Now, let me just... Oh, where is my pen? You know, I think I'm gonna add a lab coat to my vision list because then my pen will just always be right there. I can just, just clip it right on and it's just ready to go. Hmm. You know, maybe Thasberry has an extra pen. I should check with him. I need to talk with him anyways because he's helping me set up a demonstration that I'm going to do with you later. So, I should go find him. Thasberry, where are you? I am excited. This next class is gonna be a great one. Yeah, we're gonna be flying through the skies. You know, in faith. <laughs> I already do that other kind of flying with my wings. <laughs> I can't wait to learn all about how to take off and soar in faith and receive everything God has for me. You know it. I've been meditating on Hebrews 11.1 1 all day. Me too. Hey, we better head inside. It's time for class. Okay. Hello there, boys. Let's get right to it, shall we? This is our simulator. Oh, it's pretty cool, but um, what's a simulator? Yeah, it's a tool that we use here at Faith Flight School. It helps us to develop our faith. See, this simulator will put us in situations that are contrary to the Word of God, and we will learn how to stand in faith to receive the promises of God. <laughs> this is so cool! Ooh, and it's got buttons and switches, and I want to push one. In these classes today, we will focus on what faith is and how to have faith. We will learn how to get fully persuaded that God's word is true and he has a good plan for our lives. All right. I think we're ready for this. Let's get it started up. Let's see. There's that switch here and a lever here. And... Isn't it supposed to make... Is it supposed to sound like that? Hmm. I think your simulator's broken. Let me take a look here. Mm. Oh, I see the problem. You're all out of fuel. We're out of fuel? Oh man, I don't even have any money to buy fuel. <laughs> Not that type of fuel. In order for us to take off in faith, we must be in faith. And being in faith means that we are fully persuaded that what God says in his word is true. Faith is the fuel for us to take off to receive God's promises. We have to fill up in faith just like you would fill up an airplane to take off with gas. Okay, here, you see that little clipboard? Why don't you pull that up? Oh, uh, this right, uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's our checklist. Now, what's number one? Fully persuaded. Fully persuaded. F but fully persuaded? I mean, we've been reading our Bibles. We read our Bible after class, right? Yeah, we even read some extra too. Aren't we persuaded enough? Well, simply reading a couple of verses in the Bible doesn't make us fully persuaded that God's word is true. Let's look at what the manual says. Romans 10, 17 says, now faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So we have to read it over and over again, and then think on it, and read it again. We must spend time meditating on the word of God so faith can come out, and we will become fully persuaded that God's word is true, and he has good things for each one of us. Oh, wow. Yeah, the more time we spend with God, the more it gets in our hearts, and the more fully persuaded we become and the more our faith grows and we can soar to all the promises of God. Now, do you know what fully persuaded means? Mm, don't think so. It means believing something. Now, when I told you that we were gonna have class today on your way over here, were you wondering if I was gonna show up or not? <laughs> no way, we knew you would be here. Yeah, me too, I didn't doubt you for a second. That's because you were fully persuaded or you believed that my word was true. <gasps> we can be that way with God. That's what faith is, being fully persuaded that he can and will do what he says. And he says that he has a good plan for us. Oh, I see now. Me too, you know. I never really thought of it that way before. It's not enough just to read a Bible verse every now and then, just like it's not enough to put one or two drops of gas in a plane, right? Exactly, that's right. Well, that's all for today. You boys run along and spend time meditating on the Word of God and getting fully persuaded. Then, your tank will be full, and we can get back in the simulator and take it for a ride. Oh, yes, thanks. sir! Thanks! Well, we'll see you later! Fully persuaded that what God says, He'll actually do. That's faith. Pretty simple, right? 
Well, I've got some questions right here to make sure you were paying attention. Are you ready? Question number one. If we want to soar and take off to receive God's promises, what do we need? That's right, we need faith. Second question. How does faith come? Good job. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Are you ready for the next one? What is faith? Excellent. Faith is being fully persuaded of something. Okay, a couple more here. How can we be fully persuaded in the Word of God? Do you remember? By spending time in His Word. Good job, guys. Okay, last question. Can we believe God just like we believe our mom, dad, or grandparents when they tell us they're going to do something for us? Yes. In fact, we can believe God even more. Very good. You guys did awesome. So let's continue learning more about what faith is. Hey, Faith Life Kids. You know, hearing Captain Tyler got me thinking about one of my favorite snacks. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a little hint. It involves chocolate chips. Can you guess it? That's right, chocolate chip cookies. Well, today we're gonna make something pretty delicious. A little variation of that. We're gonna make a chocolate chip cookie dough spread. Doesn't that sound so good? Well, you know, boys and girls, did you know that to bake to bake anything, you, it requires many ingredients. And all those ingredients working together is what makes something delicious. So let's start mixing these together because I'm pretty excited. So first, we're going to get one half of butter. I'll put that in there with my spoon. And then, what's next? We're going to take... Um, eight ounces of cream cheese. Here we go. Spread it in there. Whoop. Came out on that side. This is pretty messy a little bit. You might want to be careful. Okay. And then, got on my hands a little bit. And then we want to take one teaspoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon. Be really careful. Job side, and then we're gonna take one half cup of powdered sugar. I almost said flour there, but we want to put powdered sugar because I really like sugar. And then we're gonna take um, one third or one third cup of brown sugar. Put that in there. There we go. And then we're gonna take a pinch of salt. I already put it in here. Get that ready. And then I'm just gonna start mixing this and then put the chocolate chips. Don't worry, I didn't forget. So, mixing them. Um, so boys and girls, you know, today we've been talking a little bit more about faith and what faith means. And you know, does, it, does anyone remember what faith is? That's right, faith is believing and being fully persuaded of something. Because you know, to be fully persuaded of something and to believe God for something, we must believe and be fully persuaded that you know what God said in his word to us is true and will come to pass in our life. Okay, here, it's pretty thick. I'm gonna put the chocolate chips here. In a second, here we go. Put the chocolate chips in. We're gonna put three fourths chocolate chips in there. Good job. And you know, boys and girls, to have faith, like I said, to have faith in God for something, we must be fully persuaded in Him. Because, you know, there is going to be a time in our life where we need to be fully persuaded and believe God. You know, maybe you have a cold and you want to receive your healing. Well, you know, to be fully persuaded, we need to find a scripture on healing. 
And once we find that scripture, boys and girls, that's the perfect time to meditate on that scripture and to get in your heart and keep meditating on it until you yourself are fully persuaded. Because you know, boys and girls, that's how we become fully persuaded. We become fully persuaded by getting into the word of God. So you know, boys and girls, this is going to be pretty good. I encourage you, maybe you could ask your mom or your dad or, you know, I like baking with my grandparents. Maybe you could ask them and you can make, and you can join along with me and you can make some delicious cookie dough spread. I'm going to try it with my graham cracker. Dip it in. I think I can dip it. Okay, boys and girls, you've watched Shoop and Ollie in one of our simulators. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. Do you remember what we use our simulators for at Faith Flight School? That's right. We use them as a tool to help you develop your faith. So I thought it'd be fun if each one of you took a trip in one of our simulators. Does that sound like fun? Okay, well the simulator I'm gonna send you into is called our Reels. It's the real life simulator. This simulator will throw situations at you that are contrary to the word of God and you get to learn what to do to stay in faith. Sounds like fun, huh? Yes. Okay, well our simulator's all ready so I'm gonna send you into one of our helpers who will tell you what to do. Let's get you in. Hello, welcome to Reels. Make sure you have your manuals with you. Once I read the scenario, you'll need to pause the video and find a scripture. The scenario is, you are believing for God's good plan for your life. Okay, it's time to pause the video and find a scripture. Did you find it? Good, now I'm sending you back to Miss Kelsey to learn more. Did you guys find a scripture to stand on about God having a good plan for your life? His word is full of promises about a good plan for each and every one of his children. Now, I want you, now that you have your scripture, to be a doer of what you've learned this week. And I want you to go and read it and meditate on it until you become fully persuaded. And when you do, it will come to pass in your life. Great job. Hello, boys and girls. You remember me, I'm Dr. No, that's K-N-O. Faith Flight School's resident expert in all things factual, scientific, and fun. Now, you heard Instructor McLeod say to Shoop and Ollie, Shoop, Ollie? Yes, Shoop and Ollie, about how faith is the fuel to help them take off in believing all the good things that God has for us. Well, I wanted to show you a little sciencey thing to help further drive that point home. Now, before I do that, let me read some scripture to you first. <clears throat> If you have your Bibles, if you don't, go and get them. If you have your Bibles, let's read Romans 10, 17. So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now, as you can see in front of me, I have two big bottles of soda, but I also have these two small little balloons. Aren't they cute? Now, it's a little tricky to see, but this one, this balloon, does have some candy in it. Those uh, popping candies, you put them in the mouth and it kind of fizzes and it's like, whoa, what's going on? That's filled with this one. Keep that in mind. This balloon on the right does not have anything in it. It is empty. There's nothing in it. And there's a reason for that. You see, these two balloons represent two different types of people. This balloon that's filled with the candy represents somebody that has been filling themselves up with the Word of God, and they've been listening and focusing on all those good things that God has said in His Word. But this balloon that's empty represents somebody that uh, has not been filling themselves up with the Word, and they don't have anything inside of their hearts. And there's a reason. Let's see what happens if we mix these balloons with the soda. Now, let's do this one on the right first. Place this around the top here very carefully, make sure not to spill. Well, I can't spill nothing because there's nothing in the balloon, but let's, let's mix it and see what happens anyway. Oh, sad, nothing. Well, obviously nothing happened. There was nothing in the balloon to mix with the soda. But let's try this one on the left, shall we? Now, let's see what happens. Ooh, I'm excited to see what this will do. Let's see what happens when we mix this candy in with our soda. Make sure we have a tight grip and very carefully. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Ooh, 
there's a bit of soda coming out. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll have to be careful with that one. Might have to get Fazberry to help me clean this up. Can you hear that, boys and girls? Ooh, that sounds cool. Look at all those gases that are filling up inside the balloon. You see, what happens is, there is a gas called carbon dioxide that is put into the candy. That's what makes, like, sodas very fizzy. When the carbon dioxide in the candy mixes with the carbon dioxide in the soda, the gases expand, filling up the balloon. Now, I have to hold the balloon down, otherwise it just go everywhere. But you see, that's what's so wonderful, is we can see in the natural what's true in the spiritual. You see, when we fill our hearts up with the Word of God, and we are fully persuaded that what God said is true, and we mix that word with our faith because scripture says that faith without actions is dead. Just like this balloon on this side, nothing happened. But we who are filled with the word of God in our hearts, mix it with our faith, then we are able to see our faith filled up and we can see those good things of God come true in our life. But there is an important thing to note here. You can't just believe anything that you want. You have to have a solid foundation. Just like this balloon didn't have anything in it, nothing to stand on, but this balloon had plenty of candy in there to fill up with the soda. We have to have a solid foundation, something to believe, and we get that from Scripture, the Word of God. And when you do, you mix the Word of God with your faith, then you become fully persuaded, your faith is filled up, and you are ready to take flight. <laughs> hey boys and girls, are you ready to make a craft with me? We're gonna be making this airplane right here. Isn't that so cool? So what are we gonna need to make this cool airplane? We're gonna need two large craft sticks, one smaller craft stick, a clothespin, your favorite color markers, and some glue. So if you don't have these supplies, you can pause the video and I'll wait for you. So what's the very first step? So first we're gonna take the large clothes or the large craft sticks. These are gonna be our wings for the airplane. So I'm gonna take my favorite color, blue, and we're just gonna color. Okay, now that we got that one colored, I'm gonna do the same color on the other side. This is gonna be the other wing. Good job, boys and girls, you're doing great. Now, for the next step, we're gonna take the smaller craft stick, and that's gonna be the very tail of the wing. And so I'm gonna do this in the color yellow. You can do it in any color that you like, and we're just gonna color this. Good job, boys and girls, you're doing so good. So now, are you ready for the next step? This is where the glue comes in. So we're gonna take this clothespin right here, and then we're gonna take our glue. And first, we're gonna open our glue, and in the clothespin, the part that kinda clips right like that, the very top of that, I'm gonna take the glue and put some on the very top, right there. Good job, and now once we have that, I'm gonna take one of the wings, and I'm gonna just set it on top of there, just like that. We wanna be really gentle. Just press it down, really gentle with it. Good job. So now I'm gonna turn it over, and we're gonna take the other side, and first, I'm gonna put some glue in the exact same place, just on the other side. Okay, and then, I'm gonna take the last craft stick that's big, and I'm just gonna put it on there really gently, just like the other one. Really careful, it might slide around. You can do it. Good job. So now, last step, we're gonna take the tail of the airplane, and then I'm gonna put the glue in the very back of the clothespin, and I'm just gonna put some glue right there. Good job. And then we're gonna take the last craft stick and we're gonna put it on for the tail. Go and press it gently. And there we go. And so now we wanna set this aside and let it dry before we play with it. Good job, boys and girls. So did you know 
that God has amazing things in store for your life. And boys and girls, if you take time to fill your heart with the Word of God, then it will give you faith to take off just like an airplane would and receive everything that the Word of God talks about. But did you also know that it is up to you what you receive from God? Did you know that? And so that means that, and the, well, the Bible also says that it's according to our faith that we receive from God. That's what the Bible says. And so that means if we can believe God for something, then that means it's ours and we can have it. Isn't that amazing? And you know, that's why it's so important that we build that foundation on our heart of the Word of God and we fill ourselves up. So, you know, if you have your Bibles, get it out with me. And we're going to read Romans 10, 17, because it talks about this. So Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So boys and girls, when you take that time and you're reading the Word of God, and you're hearing the Word of God, and it's feeding your spirit, that's going to fill your heart up with so much faith. It's going to fill you so full that you can take off. Your faith can take off just like this airplane and you can receive everything that God has for you. Hey, boys and girls, the faith life is a life of boldness. And so we're going to learn a song that will remind us about that. You ready? Yeah. Yep. kids we've been hearing all about how God has such a good and big plan for each of our lives but in order to receive that plan we have to be born again so if you want to accept Jesus into your heart right now just pray this prayer with me and repeat after me father God I thank you so much for your son and right now I receive him as my Lord and Savior over my life. Father, I believe that you sent him to die on the cross and I believe that he rose again on the third day. And I also believe that he is living with you right now and Father, I confess Jesus as Lord and Savior over my life. And from this day forward, I will serve you with all of my heart, all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. 
I am so excited with you boys and girls. I am rejoicing with you. What a fun lesson. We learned what faith is. Do you remember? That's right, being fully persuaded. Now, in order to be fully persuaded, we have to fill ourselves up on the Word of God. Do you remember that fun demonstration with Dr. No with the balloons? The more we fill up by reading and meditating on the Word of God, the more persuaded we are that God will do what He says. Now, in order to be doers of what we just heard, what do we need to do? We need to find scriptures. But what scriptures should we find? I've got an assignment for you, just like Shoop and Ollie have an assignment. This week, I want you to find scriptures about God's good plan for your life. You see, God has a good plan for all of us. And as we get in the Word and we meditate on those scriptures, we'll become fully persuaded that it is His plan and will to do good things for us and through us. We'll be full of faith and fully persuaded and our faith will take flight to the promises of God. I'll see you next week.